Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to show you how to automatically reply with a templated email. This builds off of the previous two videos where we talk about these template email concepts of either using quick steps or using macros. This last one will use a rule. So the first step is to create your templated email. You can click on new email up here at the top of the screen. And let's say that this auto reply is to everybody who's submitting a new vendor form, right? So we've put out a few jobs that our business is looking for vendors on, and I have vendors sending emails in with very specific subject lines. They're following the instructions. So I'll click here on the body and I'll say thank you for your submission of a vendor uh, request form. You can call me in five business days for any updates. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so I would like to reply automatically to all these vendors with this template. Real quick point here, if you are using a template email, always remove your signature from the template you create because your signature will get auto-added to the email once it goes out. So now I click on File, I choose Save As, and I save this as a template file, Outlook template file, and I'll call this a vendor reply and hit save. And I've done the work necessary at this point. I'm going to go ahead and close this down to have the email. Now, how are we going to automatically reply? We click on the rules drop down menu up at the top of the screen and choose manage rules and alerts. We're going to create a new blank rule for every new email that comes in based on the subject line that somebody's sending me. So I'm going to click on new rule right here. I'll click on new rule on messages I receive, click on next and flag it based on anything. In this case, I will go with specific words in the subject line. Click on specific words right here, and I'll use the words 2020 vendor submission. I have told everybody that if you want to have your information processed, it needs to have the subject line 2020 vendor submission. I'll click add and hit OK. Now, you can use any criteria that you can possibly imagine for this. Obviously, there's only so much that we can do to confirm that the people who are sending this the email follow the rules that we set out, but hopefully you have some power over the situation. Okay, so you can click on Next, and now as we look through our options, one of the options is to reply with a specific template. And that's it. I click that checkbox, and then click the link down here at the bottom for what the template is, and I look through not the standard templates, but the user templates that I've already created. There's my vendor reply. Click on open. And that's it. I click now on next. If there are any exceptions, uh, I can set up those exceptions here. I'm not thinking of anything right now. Click on next. 2020 vendor submission. Sure. I might even put in um, auto reply as part of the name for the rule and then hit finish, and hit OK, and hit OK. Looking good. Now let's go be one of those vendors, okay? So here I am, I'm Evie Johnson at Outlook, and I'm gonna click on new message, and like I said, you just have to hope for the best here, Neil, that the person who's sending it to you follows the rules. So this was, 2020 vendor submission. Da 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 da, and push send. Looking good. So now we wait for the internet to do its work. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video for a second here. You see that? Not only did the email from Evelyn come in, but you can already see that there is that teeny tiny little reply icon right there. And if I go over here to my sent items, sure enough, there's my email back to Evie. And if I go over here and act like I'm Evelyn, 
there it is. So our template file was automatically used by the rule we created. So now we've seen three methods for how we can use template emails inside of Microsoft Outlook.